Okay, so let's talk about certifications before versus now. Okay. Many people think gone are the days where CompTIA certifications and Cisco certifications dominated the IT career and cert certification industry. So it's not only Cisco who dominates it. CompTIA is also very popular, especially the A+, plus, Network+, plus, and the Security+. Plus. They call it Tribecta. Yeah. But if you talk to the younger generations, you know, the, the fresh grads, the people in their 20s, they don't talk about CompTIA certifications and Cisco certifications. Yes, there are still some people who wants to start CCNA, but there are also a big crowd, a large audience will talk about AWS certifications. And a lot of people consider the associate level of AWS, they call it AWS Certified Solutions Architect Associate to be the first IT or technical certifications. So many people are considering the new CCNA is AWS Certified Solutions Architect Associate. What do you think about this? Well, it's a different certification. It's for a different job role. It's also useful. I mean, like I, I did that certification as well. When, when cloud was really the, the latest big thing, I wanted to learn about it. Again, like I was saying, when I learn about something, if it's a certification, I'll do the certification. I want to get it on my resume. Um, if you are a network engineer, it's useful to have the AWS certification because so many companies do have cloud services now and the other way around as well. Um, it, I don't get it so much now, but when cloud really took off, a question that I would sometimes get was, well, what's the point in having the CCNA now? because nobody needs networking anymore because everything is in the cloud. And I was like, no, it doesn't work like that. And like companies have still got offices which have got computers in them which need to be networked together. And if their servers are in the cloud, they still need to connect their offices to the cloud and everything needs to be properly secured as well. It's not like the cloud somehow magically networks everything together and magically secures everything as well. You still need professionals that are capable of doing that. So I'd say that they are complementary certifications, really not a direct competitor to each other. It's not AWS or CCNA. They're both useful certifications to have. Okay. But on others' perspective, it's actually either or. Or, or we can think of this as is it better to go for CCNA first or AWS Certified Solutions Architect Associate? Ooh. Because th a lot of people would think if I go to this route, AWS yeah. Certified Solutions Architect, yeah. networking discussion is part of it, including database application yeah. okay, and other technologies. Okay, yeah. So a lot of people would think that I don't need CCNA because I'm going to learn networking as I prepare AWS Certified Solutions Architect Associate. Okay, no, you're not. Whereas <laughs> the, the networking information in the AWS certification is specifically about how to set up networking internally like VPCs, in AWS, yeah. setting up your VPCs. Mm -hmm. That's really it. it. It covers the VPCs. It does not give you a deep knowledge of how networking works how two PCs communicate with each other. The CCNA gives you a really good knowledge of that. When you asked the question, I was thinking about it, and you could do either one first, but honestly, the CCNA, the fundamental knowledge it gave me, I carried that over into nearly every other certification that I've done. And not just Cisco. Not just Cisco, mm -hmm. nearly everything, because whenever anything in IT, it's different PCs are connected yeah. and communicating with each other. So that like, really fundamental knowledge of how networking works is it, it really carries across all certifications. And if you go, if you do do the AWS certification after CCNA, 
when you're learning about VPCs, it's going to be very easy for you to understand that because mm -hmm. you already know how connectivity works. And the basics. Yeah. If you didn't, I mean, it's hard for me to say because I already did know that when I did the AWS, but probably if I hadn't, I would have found that section about VPCs actually quite difficult to understand. Because I already knew networking, it, it was very simple for me. And I was also able to put that into con wider context as well. Because if you're just doing that AWS certification, you don't know anything about networking, you learn about VPCs and you learn about how your different virtual machines in AWS are communicating with each other. But then it's, well, how do, what happens between my office and this server though? And that's not really going to be so obvious. That's not really covered in the certification. If you've already done your CCNA, it's already obvious to you. You're like, okay, I understand how VPCs work. It's a I piece of cake. Yeah, that specific of cake. part of the certification. Yeah. It's piece of cake. It's, yeah. it's just, I can skip this part and move well, to. You, you're not going to skip it. You, you do need to understand how the VPC configuration works of course. between the servers inside AWS. Yeah. But as far as understand, okay, getting that, mm -hmm. understanding the context inside AWS, and also understanding the context going out of AWS as well, is going to be a breeze if you've done the CCNA first. Um, and another thing you get from the CCNA is pretty much everything in IT, I think of based on the OSI model. And you do the CCNA, you, you learn that really mm. good, right? And especially like for troubleshooting, I just naturally think like that now. And that that's really good knowledge to have as well. So it gives you a way, any new technologies, you can break them down layer by layer. And I think it, that makes things easier to understand as yeah, well. You can carry that knowledge or that technique into the cloud. Yeah. Now, this is funny because I attended the course. It's only a three-day course, the AWS Certified Solutions Architect. And they only spend a little time talking about networking. Yeah. And many students who attended that course cannot understand the networking. It. Yeah. yeah, because it, it only, they only allocate like a couple of hours for right. the networking. Yeah. And do you think it's enough? No, of course, no, of course not. I'm, actually, I'm amazed at that. So the official course is only three days? Yeah. yeah. That's crazy. And the networking is like lot. two to three hours only. Right. Yeah. No, I am um, studying for that. I spent as long as I did studying for the CCNA. And now, you, you know, the AWS, they're always adding on new features as mm -hmm, well. Mm -hmm. There's so many now. It's crazy. And I don't know how many of them, because I did this certification oh, probably... I don't know, five, six years ago, something like that. There's so many new features have been added since then. I don't know how many of them they've included 200 in plus the new exams. Six. Yeah. So how can <laughs> how can we teach you like the entry level AWS in three days? That seems crazy to me. Yeah. Yeah. So I guess they just I guess they would have been focusing on um, what do they call the virtual machines in AWS again? EC2 instances. Yeah, so mm -hmm. the, main, the main focus would have been on the EC2, right? Um, mix of everything, databases, storage. Okay. Right. Um, networking is part of it, but there are too many services and technologies. Yeah. And uh, putting that into three days. That's impossible. Yeah. Yeah. It's very hard. If I'm the student, if I'm young, no experience, I will not easily understand every single technologies that yeah. is delivered or discussed in the three-day course. Yeah. Yeah. Um, another thing as well, did you do the Microsoft certifications before? No. Okay. That was, so So really when I was starting, it was the, the MCSE, the Microsoft Certified, Certified Systems, Systems Engineer. Engineers. Yeah, I, I did that mm. before I did the CCNA because mm -hmm. that was that was the main certification when I was starting. And so I'm, I'm just thinking that, so so when I learned AWS, I already had my MCSE. So I already knew Windows operating systems and, and servers. servers. And I already knew networking. And databases so, as well. And data, yeah. yeah, I'd done the SQL certification mm -hmm. as well, yeah. So when I went to learn AWS, I already knew servers, security, networking. So it was very, it, it made it much easier for me to just picture 
again, the context of how everything was going to work together. And it was really just porting that over from a traditional data center into a cloud, a environment. cloud environment. Yeah. So, yeah, that's another. Th so maybe AWS would actually be pretty hard to do as the first thing, because if you don't have like core fundamental knowledge of servers and networking, then it's, it's, we, I think it would be quite hard to understand quite a lot of the things in there because they're just assuming you already know it, right? Yeah. Yeah, especially the, so we're going to be talking about setting up an EC2 instance, setting up a server there. If you've never installed a server before, then how are you going to understand that? Yeah, um, that part is more related to virtual machines. Yeah. Uh, VMware virtualization. If you know VMware, or yeah. you're setting up a virtualization environment, that would be easy. Yeah. Perhaps enough. Yeah. So I, I, I you also did v VMware yeah. VCP. So yeah. I'd, 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 I'd already had the VMware certifications. <laughs> so I already knew servers and virtualization mm. and networking and security. So I learned AWS. So, like, oh, okay, this is just how I set it up in that environment. But if you, yeah, if you didn't know anything about any of those, then it will be difficult. Yeah. They can say, oh, this is how you set it up in that environment. And be like, okay, but set up what in that environment? <laughs> I don't even I don't even know what I'm trying to set up. Yeah.